Hi everyone, welcome to Digit.in. My name is Shubham Sharma, the resident air purifier reviewer. We recently visited Dyson's Malaysia Development Center where we saw how the company builds and tests its devices. Here's a tour of Dyson's air purifier test labs where we came to know about the various tests that are conducted before an air purifier hits the market. Our first stop at the Dyson's building was the company's own polar test chamber. The test chamber measures 6 by 4.5 by 3 meters and the floor space is around 27 meters square, which closely resembles an average sized living room. The polar test chamber is built out of glass and is housed within a stainless steel frame. The entire rig is temperature and humidity controlled to ensure that consistency is maintained while an air purifier is being tested. Finally, there is a network of 9 high-grade air quality sensors that are placed all around the test lab to accurately pick up an air quality in a certain region. Next up, we visited the CADR or the Clean Air Delivery Rate Particle Chamber that Dyson uses to test CADR capabilities of an air purifier. The CADR test is currently used as an industry standard but it doesn't really resemble real-world conditions. The chamber is just 12 meters square in size and it uses a fan to mix purified air. There's also just one air quality monitor in the room. After observing Dyson's polar test and the CADR testing method, we realized that the CADR test has quite a few shortcomings. The CADR test chamber is quite small. There's a fan to circulate air which might not be used in all homes and only one air quality monitor is used to measure air quality levels. On the other hand, the Dyson Polar test is carried out in a larger room that closely resembles a real room in a real home. It doesn't use a fan to mix the air and has 9 air quality sensors that are scattered all around the room. It's a 9 sensors in total, yeah. it's measuring the air quality level inside the chamber. So we are placing it in every corner of the chest chamber just to, un just to ensure our product can evenly clear clean the chamber uh, across every corner. After these labs, we went ahead to check out Dyson's EMC lab where it tests its devices for electronic wave emission. The lab's outer walls are made of steel, while the internal walls are covered with foam that contains metal oxides to absorb electromagnetic energy radiated by a machine. An antenna in the room then measures electronic wave emission by a device. Immune from another electromagnetic wave generated from nearby electronic device. Uh, for example, you are using this fan at your home. At the same time, you are using a laptop, microwave, you are using your uh, television. The combination of electromagnetic wave from all these items might affect the operation of this fan. Maybe the LCD will become blank or maybe the speed suddenly become from high goes to low because of the interference from the other electronic device. So, um, we have a big antenna here we call by conical antenna so this antenna uh, we use to capture and measure the level of electromagnetic wave coming out from our product during the testing and we can also use this antenna to transfer an interference during the testing finally we arrived at the mechanical testing lab where dyson tests its devices for durability here, we saw mechanical tests that simulate harsh conditions on Dyson's devices. We saw Dyson air purifiers being rotated, dropped, undergoing vibration tests and more. This test is actually to simulate on how our user carrying our current product and there is a tendency when our user tend to twist our product in an abusive manner. It's being rotated endlessly for 360 degrees over 10,000 cycles. So this test is actually designed to accelerate real-life testing, which simulates up to 10 years of life. All of these tests are done to ensure that the company's products live up to a certain standard and last for a long period of time. Thank you for tuning in to Digit.in. We hope you liked this video and if you did, do hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.